Good morning, everyone. Hello, good morning. Welcome, everybody. Wednesday, our regular live stream session for better posture. If you've got any problems, bad posture, round shoulders, round back, hunched back, tech stack. That's a good session to do with us right now. I'm going to explain what to do. And I just guide you step by step how to adapt any yoga pose for your own individual needs. We are in our studio, APG Studio in the UK. My name is Alicia and I'm a fitness and yoga instruct expert <laughs> instructor as well. But yeah, so that's it. And yeah, we all are ready to start. Just put the Instagram a little bit lower. So they can see. Okay. Yeah, that's good. All right. Let's start with stand up position. And first, roll your shoulders very slowly, trying to use range of movement. Doesn't matter if it's very limited or you've got more, that's okay. Just work what you have, okay? Usually people with back posture, okay? Not very flexible. Maybe they never done yoga before. So that's a good start for you. Very slowly, step by step, building the strength, improving the flexibility, and ready for deeper stretches later on. But you need to remember, just work with your body and respect your limitations. When you're going to feel muscles tired, just that too much, maybe this live stream is going to be too long for you. But today, that's okay, you can stop anytime. If you too many reps for one movement, one pose as well, always, it's nothing wrong when you take a break. Okay? It's nothing like, yeah, I'm just give up. No, it's not about that. You need to listen to your body and respect and work with your limitations. Okay? So to improve anything in your body, you need to work what you have today. It's temporary, you can change that, but takes time, okay? And now let's start to warm the muscles in your arm, chest, and your shoulder. Simply, you can just stay in the same position. I'm going to change my, my position so you can see from the different perspective, different angle, what we're looking in the pose, in the movement. So lifting as high as you're not compensating by leaning back. It's not good for your lower back. So if you can't go any higher, that's fine. All you're trying to do now is bend your elbow. The best if it's pointing forward. Maybe muscles tight and you can bring them here. They are out. So that's okay. You're still trying to pull knee, even if you're still in the same position, that's the way to activate muscles to work. Inhale and slowly exhale. As you got more flexibility, range of movement, this joint, right side, shoulder, you're gonna be able to lift your arm higher and increase by bending your elbow. Okay, so if you notice, that's what you're doing. That's a compensation. Simple as that. But then always figure out the way. It's going to figure out the way how to go easy if you're trying too much, if you're forcing the stretch. So that's why it's important. You know, just work what you have at this moment. Inhale. Slow exhale. Maybe one more. Inhale. And slow exhale. Lift, slow relax. Now your left. Inhale, arm the mirror. So my right is your left. So we're doing the same side as you can see. Inhale, and exhale. And yeah, check how is the mobility, range of movement. Compare your right. Be similar, or you can see, feel a massive difference between left and right. Let me know. You can leave the comments. 
after that the both the same or one is much tighter one is more flexible you want more inhale and exhale lift and relax now your legs wider i mean wider than your shoulders with apart just check where your toes when your feet pointing when you push them out which means you don't have the right alignment for your joints so be aware of that and try to keep your feet pointing forward so when today you decide to go for walk look down sometimes and check how you're placing your foot the best if they are more like facing forward instead of pointing up because that's changed the alignment in your joints and the muscle joints work a little bit different are we design inhale slowly exhale feel this nice stretch in your left side inhale slowly exhale inhale and exhale straight arm so we have to be that could be somewhere here as long as the stretch is on your left and you're not twisting body to your right side because again that's a compensation inhale slowly exhale and now you're right inhale and exhale relax your left shoulder in the nice stretch it's also good for your core area we strengthen your obliques now it's your left we stretching the right but building the strength on the other side and nicely we work with your lower back as well that's why you're going so good for you any movement gives you lots of benefits so not one muscle is just much more last one in high Slowly exhale. Back feet closer. Arms front of you. And now inhale. Just pull your arms back. But pulling shoulders, squeezing your shoulder blades. So it's not only pulling your arms, but to activate this area. We want to stretch. We want to improve flexibility here. Range of movement in your shoulders. So just putting arms like this without any muscles action consciously yeah, you're still stretching but not that much in control way and <clears throat> point is when you inhale pull your shoulders back and down squeeze your shoulder blades and think about pulling elbows back more than your hands right so that's the way to work inhale and exhale Inhale. And exhale. Notice if you're doing this again, you're trying to move your arms further. It's not the case. How far you can reach with your arms is if you're able to make this movement from your shoulders. Hope you can see that. Okay, go this way. It's not that much from my shoulder. From my shoulder is when I do that. Bring shoulders back and chest forward the same time but not down lift up and one more inhale and exhale now lace the fingers palms forward holding position upright push your arms and head down feel nice stretch in your upper back but without exaggerate the problematic area like this so you're staying upright just pushing your arms forward. Imagine something in front of you and just pushing away. Inhale, lift your arms and then slowly exhale. Relax. So you hit your shoulders. How your arms? Good. So now let's change your position on your floor. And you're going to place your forearms in front of you. Where the elbows exactly when where your hands okay so now this hand underneath your shoulder your shoulders apart 
So this is the place to place your elbows. Hands nice and flat. And now you inhale, lean forward. And as you exhale, look back. Again, it's nothing about as low as you can is, as long as you're holding elbows on the floor and you're feeling good stretch in your upper body, arms, chest, shoulders, upper back. Okay, so maybe this is how far you can go, which is fine. Just make sure how is your head position. Use the muscles in your neck. So if you notice you're dropping your head, that's the sign, muscles weak and you need to work to make them stronger, to bring them back in the right place, right alignment for your neck area. Inhale and slowly exhale. Inhale and slowly exhale. Find a position you're comfortable with to hold, maybe here, maybe lower. Please don't compare with me. Keep the muscles tight. You've got much more limitations at the moment, so that's okay. You can change that. But it takes time. You need to go really easy, really gentle with your body, because when you're forcing the stretch, your body is in stress. If it's in stress, just getting tense and tightening the muscles. So you need to go the other way. Very easy. And you're feeling position is nice, comfortable. You're controlling your breaths. It's nothing like, yeah, I want to stop. That's a simple sign. Just cross the line from stretching the muscles to just push and force for too much. Good breaths in and slowly out. Anyone more? And slowly. Knees with your hips with apart. Lower back position is so important right now. The muscles weak in your core. This is the way you're holding this position. Point is, if you understand and you notice that, you can change that by lifting hands. The best place, you just look to the space between your hands. So that's give you the way and be sure that the right position for your head, neck muscles are active. Instead of dropping your belly like this, try to slightly tuck the pelvis under. Pull in just a little bit to feel the muscles active and if the muscle is super tight in your lower back, even now you're going to feel some stretching going on. So find the right position. It's a nice stretch, again, not too much. And now left arm to your side. And you're trying to lift your arm and rotate your body, upper body as well. So you're from the side, and then you left, and doing the same as you're doing. Inhale, so I'm not putting my arm like this. My chest is still facing down. I'm lifting my arm as long as I'm able to rotate upper body to really open the left side. And it's good for your lower back as well. I'm really strengthening your core area at the same time. So as you can see, doing yoga, any pose, any movement, you're using much more muscles and you've got much more benefits just one. In high. Slowly exhale. This way, inhale, and exhale. Maybe that's it for now. That's okay. Session by session, week by week, you are improving the flexibility so you can lift your arm and you can twist, rotate your upper body much more. Okay, try the same to your right. Inhale, and exhale. 
direction. This perspective again. In high. And exhale. In high. And exhale. One more. Let's rest. Give your arms some time to relax. Stay in child pose this way, which is absolutely fine. Always find the adaptation for your needs. You've got tight muscles in your hips, close to lower back. Holding your hips, this position right now, you're still feeling the stretch, and that's what it is all about. If you've got more flexibility, you can bring your elbows closer. Then you can sit on your feet, chest is resting on your thighs. Later on, while you're trying to stretch your arms one at a time, both together. Holding head off the floor. So you're still trying to encourage muscles, neck area to work for strength. So check how far you can go, which option, step by step, gives you the right comfortable stretch. Now, if you're staying higher on your form arms, left to your side, and again, try to lift your arm and lift your shoulder. Right? So feeling this rotation. So Again, from the side. Inhale. And exhale. If you're lower, you're fine to sit in on your heels. You can place your elbow in front of your knee. And you can just lift like this. Inhale. Slowly exhale. Inhale. Slowly exhale. Maybe one more. Now you're right. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Okay, let's lay down on your body. So you're on your forearms, with your arms forward, you slowly bring your hips on the floor. Strong glutes. This is very important. You got these muscles engaged active to support lower back area. I right? want all these muscles right now. And now start your hands, your shoulders, level but wider than your shoulders with apart. You're pressing from heel of your palm to the floor to lift your chest. And again, go easy. Depends how easy your lower back. You can stay lower or higher. If you're comfortable in this position to your straight arms, you can try the other option, hands underneath your shoulders right now. And check if you're comfortable with this position. If you're pointing elbows out, go back with your hands wider. Still, the range of movement in your shoulders is not fully yet, and but it's just compensating by pushing elbows out. So this option is when you've got your arms straight and you point elbows in towards you. And your shoulders away from your ears. And try a few more times, maybe just a few inches because you can't go any higher. And it's nothing wrong with that. You need to start somewhere, right? Step by step, week by week. You're going to feel <coughs> sorry, muscles more flexible. <coughs> <clears throat> and 
And maybe two more. Inhale. Slowly exhale. Last one. And now, try to stretch your left arm from the way down, lifting your shoulder and your chest. So I'm showing on my right. Start wider, the elbow is bent, and first try to reach your front left corner. To stay comfortable with this stretch, move your arm forward. Okay, so that's the way to work for flexible muscles in your chest and better range of movement in your shoulder. Okay, I'm not expecting you that your arms straight, so I'm going to stay my arms bent like this and the head, you hold your head off the floor, but you're looking down and strong looks. And now I inhale, you pull your elbows back, squeezing your shoulder blades again. When you exhale, bring them down. Keep your arms straight, using full movement like this. But I'm going to say the easy option. Let's say, pretend I've got tight muscles in my shoulders, my chest. So this is how far I can go. But I'm trying to lift my elbows and I'm trying to pull them back. So let's say that's it. That's my max stretch for now. As you progress, you are able to move your elbows closer, not your hands, but your elbows. Later on, more movement to reach forward, even if you're straight arms, but still control your glutes area. Muscles needs to be really strong right now, right? And you can go back and hold. If it's too much for your neck, muscles start to be tired. Just place your hands and rest your forehead. Still is good stretch for your chest. And now, right onto your side. Make a piece of your left, so you can raise the forehead a little bit higher. Now rotate your right arm, so your palm facing up. And you try to move your arm across the high to the back. Inhale, cross, bring the height, slowly expand. Resting your head, but squeezing glutes. I've got more benefits than open your chest and work with your shoulder because we strengthen your neck area as well as lower back and your glutes. If you're feeling fine for your lower back area, ready for more, you can try. Lift your right leg together, your right arm. Maybe one more. And change your side. To change, so you can see the arm is just moving. Okay, rotate. Palm facing up and now inhale. So maybe that's it. Slowly exhale. So about pulling elbow, shoulder back. You got strong lumbar area. Try your left leg now. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, maybe. Bring your hands together, rest your forehead again, relax the hips, legs. And slowly on your four and on your forearm arms, lift your hips and move your arms. So this is the easy way to go. Change position from laying down flat on your belly to sit down, but no impact, no pressure on your lower back area. Okay, so let's sit to cross legs. I've got blocks, but could be blanket close. Anything to sit higher. <clears throat> so 
sitting nice and upright on the side. If you're going to practice and stretching for chest, sitting round back, head down, you're not going to do anything in here. So it's so important to lifting your chest and you're pulling your shoulders back, chest forward as well as your belly. Okay? Check your position. Of course, if the muscles tight, that's your position for now, but you're still trying to pull your shoulders back and down. Even if it's still the same, but you're trying to do, you're thinking about it, just visualize, your body is actually activating these muscles, and that's the point. So from here, one day, you're going to be more upright. So let's say that's my position. This is my upright position, can't go anymore, but I'm trying to work with my shoulders to pull back. Okay, now to leaning forward. Here, I right? To bend my elbows, now I'll show you from the front. So let's say that's my position. I'm still pulling shoulders back and elbows. And my hands more here and elbow joints. Okay, now your hands. Inhale. And next, you to feel the stretch in here, chest and front of your shoulders. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Place your fingers and lift your arms up. Maybe they bend if you're struggling to keep your arms above your head. So bend your elbows. And again, elbows. Inhale. Pull them back. And exhale. Bring together. Inhale. And exhale. Make sure head stay in the same position. You are three forward. In high. And exhale. One more. And relax. <coughs> now, stay in the same position. Just bring your arms behind. From your shoulders, pulling back. Place your hands, the palms. Facing back, press to the floor, maybe just your fingertips. But you're trying chest forward, shoulders back, two different directions. Chest, shoulder, okay? To really work your upper body to correct your posture. Make sure that you're able to take a deep breath in and slowly out. If you're struggling, go easier. And as you exhale, you can pull your shoulders back. Usually it's opposite, but right now it's not enough flexibility and you're stretching already. So you inhale, you can't take the deep breath in. You need to just go easy with the stretch and try to stretch as you exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Later on, as you're comfortable, body's ready, you're trying to inhale here and exhale from the arms. But for now, it's opposite. Inhale, ready, and exhale as you're pushing shoulders back and chest forward. And Lift your arms and slowly shoulders back and down. Inhale. Slowly remember now from your arms, shoulders. Last one. Lift your shoulders and relax a few times. Okay. So thank you. That's all for now. I hope there was a good session, nice stretch for this area for bad posture. You got the idea right now and knowledge. 
how to do it at home in the right, correct way. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. You can leave any comments below the video. How was it? Which stretch you like? Or maybe you're struggling with something. So yeah, let me know. I can explain much more in more details next time. And yeah, guys, we've got some announcement. This Sunday, this coming Sunday, 24th of May, we're gonna be doing yoga beginners workshop. Five hours live stream and live chat. So don't worry, there have to be five hours. Sounds like crazy, but this is how long I'm gonna be available for you. So that's the time frame from one o'clock to 6 p.m. London time. If you've got any questions, you can check the schedule on YouTube channel when you go on this video. It's already in our schedule as an upcoming live stream. You can find the schedule. So if you're interested in any uh, certain poses, you can check what time you're going to join us. But also it's gonna be live chat. Any questions I'm going to answer on Sunday. So please share this information with your friends, family, because got the message for all your yoga is for everyone, but everyone's yoga is different. And we'd like to just show people and bring everything to your home, saying, yeah, you don't have to be super flexible to do yoga. You can be actually very unflexible and you still, you can do yoga, but you need to just understand and know how to do it correct way so thank you for now enjoy the rest of the day it looks beautiful in uk let me know where are you and what's the weather so we are very excited because weather is beautiful in here and yeah enjoy the rest of the day and hopefully i see you someday start from one o'clock see you guys bye